All right. <clears throat> Let's uh go. <laughs> it's uh, me. Me you. Welcome. We are watching the Mario movie trailer too. Now, if you customers haven't seen the first trailer or don't know anything about it, they barely played much of uh, Chris Pat. So, I mean, I think we got like a what, 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 what is this playing something? I, I don't know. It did. I have to agree with everyone. It did sound like Chris Pat. So yeah, let's see if we'll hear more of his voice acting. I mean, dude's a pretty, pretty okay voice actor. Like, I, I don't know. It's like whenever I think of like Chris Pat voice acting in certain stuff, it's always it's like you kind of just hear his voice, and all I remember is probably him playing Emmett from the Lego Movie. Let me fix this. Also, did you know about this weird thing that YouTube now has? Like it's. I know I can turn it off, like it's ambient mode. Look at that. Oh. Okay, that's odd, it turned off. Yes, this is a stream day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mark, you're in a different time zone, right? You can actually watch this stream. Uh, let me actually turn off this ambient stuff. I mean, it's cool that YouTube did this. In fact, it reminds me of those TVs that has that like background background lighting that's supposed to match like the TV lighting. But I need to properly crop this for you customers so you customers can view, and I can look like a good reaction channel or something. I don't know. I don't know. We just watch stuff. We just give our opinions. And of course, your customers can have your opinions. Everyone's entitled to them. So yeah, let us see how this trailer goes. It's about like five minutes long, so I'm going to guess it might be like a two minutes or something of the movie. They're probably going to, yeah. They're... Seems like they have some interviews going on. I will say the voice of Mario made me cry. In a good way or in a bad way? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Want to see what you think? Sure. Bad. Oh, I see. Today, I'm excited for you all to see the second trailer for the Super Mario Brothers movie. The first trailer we released in October was seen by lots and lots of people around the world. Yes. Thank you all for supporting this movie. It's no acting, just voice. And okay. I'm not supposed to say anything else about it. <laughs> of course. Of well, course. Son, let's introduce our special guests. What actor are they going to bring on this Thank time? You, oh, song. okay. It's my pleasure to introduce Anya Taylor Joy, the incredible actor who voices Princess Peach. Okay, in our movie. we're getting Princess Peach it now. It was important for us to work with performers who could inhabit a wide range of emotions to connect with audiences on the big screen. Anya Can I just like pull up some Princess Peach uh, voice voice lines or sound effects? Like, yeah, okay, so here, here's one. Sweet! Ha! Yeah! You! Yeah! Whoa! Ha! Cha! Ha! 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 So, yeah. Yeah. Anya brings another dimension to this character, whether she's leading her toads yes. or going head to head against the king of the Koopas. Okay. <laughs> Why we, did we have to get that sound effect? <laughs> That was an actual yeah, sound effect from Smash Brothers Melee. Okay, I'm so, sorry. How many death sound much, effects does you make? <laughs> I've been looking forward to this since the casting process. Uh, I thought she'd be perfect for Princess Peach. I'm also looking forward to this person's performance. Mm -hmm. Playing Donkey Kong is Seth Rogen. Hey. Hi there. I'm Seth Rogen, and for my entire life, I've been a fan of the worlds created by Miyamoto-san. In fact, my dog is named Zelda. Ever since I was a kid playing uh, let's, let's Play go. Choice 10, I remember looking at Mario Brothers and okay. thinking, if they ever make a movie out of this, I better be in it. And I'm happy to say I, that. I, I feel like... I thank you. 
it'll, it'll fit. It'll, it'll fit. Thanks, that son. I, <laughs> God, they're not, they're not giving us, they're not giving us any okay, sound, then. like, Let's voice, voices. I, I think it's because, like, I know Chris Pat went on Instagram or something being like, it's a me, Mario. And just everyone, and he was like, oh, wait, that's not the voice. So I'm guessing during these interviews, they weren't allowed to do any samples or anything of sound effects or voices. All right. Started way earlier in the video than I thought. I thought it would be at the near end. Oh. Okay, so we have Mario in a Coliseum. Whoa. Okay. Hold up. What? Well, hold. Hold up. Hold up a second. Can I go back a few frames? Look at that. His jawline. Oh wow. Oh they. Wow. Look at that. First time seeing DK in in this trailer. They made his mouth big. Yeah, yeah, the animation looks amazing, of course. Like, lighting and everything. Mwah. Beautiful. But, yeah. I'll, ooh. Okay, yeah, that's accurate. That's actually accurate. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, Luigi. Wow, yay. But there's one problem. There's a human Thumb has a, and a mustache horse choke. just like you. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with a letter of his first name on it? <laughs> okay. Because I don't. Ooh. Bowser God, Luigi's is getting coming. tortured. Together, we okay. Are going to stop that Wait, is that, is that is that a racer outfit? Is that, yeah, that looks like a racer outfit from Mario Kart. Stir. Aw. <laughs> I got this. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually neat. I like how the platforms is just a reference to 2D. Ooh. Okay. Oh, they got the Tanuki suit. Okay, they aren't gonna have power-ups. Okay. That's great. Damn. They're all counting on us. Hmm. No pressure. Yeah, and Mario Kart? There's Mario Kart in the Rainbow R what? Oh shit, I'm gonna fuck up. Sorry, mate. Alarm. What? Okay. So there is Mario. Wow. Okay, this is this is literally the Mario Kart. <laughs> oh wow, that was good. Sorry my alarm almost went off. How was that? That was amazing. I okay. Did we even hear uh Chris Pat Mario? I did they hide it? Hold on, hold on. Let me. I kind of want to go back a little, but we'll let it. Finish. It looks like we'll be able to see a new side of Princess Peach, played by Anya San. Yeah, that looks great. Donkey Kong was Honestly. there too. It's been over 40 years since the release of the original Donkey Kong game, which was also mm -hmm. my debut title. Ah. We've also changed his design for the first time okay. since he became a 3D yeah, oh, yeah. in the original Donkey Kong Country you game. Increases. Some of you may have noticed. Okay, they actually do show this off. So yeah, huge, huge amount. And also I think they, okay, I need the, can we get like a comparison? Hold up. Let's let's do a comparison with uh, let me get a quick PNG of DK. Okay, so let's uh, compare this render of Donkey Kong with the render we have right here for the movie. This is a WebMT file. Never mind. Uh. Okay, let me try. Can I try a Smash Brothers one? I mean, I really wish they made him pose with the thumbs up. That would have been such a great, like, addition to the okay meme, you know? Can I use this? 
Why, why are all these PNGs I'm finding on Google that I set to transparent WebMD files? Yeah, I don't want to open up another browser window. Mm. That is not work. Hmm, okay, well, should I? Same time as grabbing a screenshot at this point. Hmm, okay, let me actually. Okay, so do they. For this movie, we seized the opportunity to give him a comical. Okay, they actually posed him. Reminiscent of the okay, the eyes. That That is something. Oh, okay, well, hmm, because, like, I'm looking at this image right here, and they, I don't know, something about the eyes is just, I guess they made them more expressive. Yeah, it really looks like they were trying to avoid the Jimmy Neutron look, honestly. Like, uh, let me show you customers what I mean. See? Look, just Jimmy Neutron haircut, and they kind of like, they kind of like really shorten it down actually. Original character. What do you think? They made him look a lot more buff in the arms and legs. In fact, hold on, let me. Actually, no legs still look the same. Yeah, actually, it does. I don't know his sh his shoulder width though. That that is huge. Yeah. I made him look more like uh, King Kong or something. Sign reminiscent of the original character. What do you think? Well, that's all for now. Mm -hmm. I hope you're all looking okay. forward to the Super Mario Brothers movie. Thank we're, you. we're not done. I, I still want to talk about a couple of things I saw in this movie. There's a lot that they showed in this trailer. So let's go back. Again, I'm just gonna point this out. No ass. No ass. <laughs> I, I look forward to people taking this screenshot right here, like somewhere around this button, and just just. Do it, like, quick, quick, I swear, I thought I turned off my fucking ringer. One second. Fucking, it's like you set an alarm and then you wake up earlier before the alarm. Okay, there we go. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, uh. Just, yeah. Also, the people in the background, they look like, well, uh, yeah, they look like your typical Illumination like background characters. I was expecting a lot of toads, but now instead you see like actual people. Also, what is this temple? Like, the platform looks reminiscent of, uh, yeah. Hold on, let's go back to this single moment. Okay. Let's... So... Let me just skip a couple frames. Yeah, okay, so this... This definitely looks so reminiscent to, like, the Donkey Kong levels. You know, it's going up those uh, metal pipes. You see some barrels in the background and stuff like that. Tire swinging. I mean, I mean, this looks like Smash Brothers, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, oh, hey, is that Cranky Con? Oh, okay. I, okay. <laughs> He's just holding a banana. Not sure if you know who I am. But I'm about to rule the world. Yeah, I gotta say, like, Bowser, a Jack Black, perfect. Wow, uh, yay. And same, same with Luigi, like, man. They did a good job on the casting for Luigi. I hope he gets his own like movie. Like, just please. 
give us like a Luigi's Mansion spinoff. That would be great. We could even make it a TV show or something. But there's one problem. Yeah, Jack Black is an amazing Bowser. Has a mustache just like you. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with a It's cool they actually go name? like into like they go all in with them being plumbers. Like that's something you obviously never see in the video games. Is kind of like hint at it. <laughs> because I don't. Bowser is coming. Hold on, let me actually look at that. So, yeah, you got your typical worlds: you got the sand area, the hills, the lava, Mushroom Kingdom. Mm hmm. So we got all different colors of toads. Is coming. Together. I think it's Yoshi in this movie. Are going to stop or are they going to save him for the monster. sequel? How? Look at us. We're adorable. Okay, well that's an interesting toad voice. They're going for really cutesy. Like you're not getting any like. Uh, here, let me let me look up some toad sound effects to give you customers an example instead of me trying to pull one off. Like, uh, listen to this. There we go. I okay, actually, that kind of sounds similar. Oh, yeah, that's some old toad sound effects. I always thought they were having a huge gremlin energy. Like, uh, here we go. Yeah, see that. <laughs> they kind of have like the ha ha. Ah. Oh, I got this. No problem. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I can't wait for all those videos that are going to come out. I mean, they're probably out by now being like a hundred things you missed in the second Mario movies trailer. Also, can I listen to that voice line again? We're adorable. Oh, I got this. No problem. Ah. Yeah, it just honestly, it just sounds like his own thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a sound like his own thing. There's a huge universe out there. With a lot of galaxies. Okay, yeah, there is your OCs. Okay, my bad my bad. I, I missed that detail. You got the entire species. But now that I think about it, like the only time I actually ever seen this many Yoshis, which I mean, we like I, I actually no wait never mind I remember now it was like New Super Mario Bros U or something they had like eggs or something they hatched from I was going I was going to say like was Yoshi the was like the green Yoshi the only Yoshi left it after I don't know I I, I doubt their species got extinct With a lot of galaxies but yeah they're all counting on us. Pressure. Like a warp type or something. Okay. This part though. The fact that they have Mario Kart. That just caught me off guard. Apparently they're just going to like bring in stuff from the other games as well. Like so you know there's going to be like a Mario Party segment in this movie. <laughs> yeah that's cool. Seeing Rainbow Road. Wait, okay, how many characters do we got in the background? Okay, we got Toad in a big truck, we got Donkey Kong. Uh, is that a Funky Kong in the background? I have no idea who this is right here. Yeah. Okay, well, this is coming out. Like, did they say a specific date in April, or is this just a April? Okay, great. I'll I'll watch it when my birthday, <laughs> so that stream anniversary, comes around. How was that? It looks like we'll be able to see a new. Mm -hmm. Also, I gotta mention one thing. The text is definitely reminiscent of like. Uh, let me see if I can pop this open. 
uh, what was the original Mario movie's name? Like Super Mario Bros. movie? Like 1993? Yeah, this one. Am I the only one that thinks Princess Peach looks like a family guy face? <laughs> oh, okay, now that you bring it up. Oh, I'm not sure. But yeah, like uh, these old posters, like with the silver lettering, it looks like they were heavily implying with this. Like, yeah. Look at the Princess Peach poster. Ah, uh, maybe this. Yeah, let me pop this open. I've seen a couple of the posters. In fact, uh, if you customers want me to pull them up, uh, once I will. One second. Mario movie. Okay, so I, I think it's because of the big. I don't know, like the something about the face. Because I guess they want really wanted to make these characters more expressive compared to their video game counterparts. Which yeah, it definitely looks like it. In fact, I I think I posted a picture on the Discord comparing regular in-game Mario to Mario movie Mario. I was asking you, you customers for your thoughts. In fact, we can read a few right here. I know how to traverse my Discord server. Oh wait, did I post it in Cafe Gallery? Yeah, I did. Okay. So yeah, some people actually did point out like this. So pretty much, uh. Yeah, overall is way different. Apparently he has like a pocket collar right there, if you can see that. So yeah, they definitely try to go a lot into the details of this and everyone. Look at the lighting and stuff, it's crazy. I don't know, eyes feel a little bit more smaller. Yeah. But that guy it works. Pretty good. Like actually it reminds me of that one uh car commercial with that like buff looking Mario. But yeah, let me look up the poster that you mentioned. Uh I might need to go grab it off of Twitter real quick in that case. Mm, let's see. Oh, okay, never mind. Nintendo Life actually posted some posters. Oh wow, look at that. Here, we can look at this. Oh, right, we can talk about a few of these. So, yeah, okay. I, I don't know, is, is their eyes a bit more roundish in this one or something? The lighting? Yeah, definitely the lighting. Mm -hmm. I want to say these uh, characters look a lot more squishy. Especially Toad. But yeah, that's cool, actually. Oh, cool. The poster actually kind of resembles a bit of like Luigi Mansion type. I mean, come on, you got the man running from like skeletons. But yeah, nice poster of Mario. I'm surprised they didn't do like an iconic pose or something. Like this type of pose looks like something you'd see off of like Mario Strikers. Okay, wow, hey. Eh? I don't know, they make Donkey Kong look way bigger in this poster. And same with Bowser. Or Bowser now looks the same height. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice the uh, uh, fire flowers. Interesting. So, yeah. I mean, it looks promising. Very promising. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be like, like I, I, I feel bad for any movie that is coming out when this movie drops. Like, man, they are just going to be obliterated at the cinemas. Oh, you looking for a specific poster? Okay. Yeah, feel free to send it whenever. And I'll open it up and, yeah. But, uh, are they, is it still trending on Twitter? Probably, I think I saw some screen caps. I tried to try my best to avoid spoilers. Mm 
Mm, okay, let's see. Can I like look up posters without seeing so many meme edits? Oh. Oh really? So apparently Pauline was actually spotted in one of the posters that showed off Mario and Luigi in Brooklyn. Let me pull up some of these images. Okay, that is interesting. I did not know that. Uh, I close on Twitter tabs. Oh, you found it? Okay. So, let me see. Yeah. Oh, I'm like pulling up more of these posters. A lot of these look really good. Okay, so I think I got... Oh wow, hold on, is that really? Oh, is this an actual leaked pose? This looks fake. Yeah, I think this one's fake, actually. Alright, no, wait, is it actually real? Oh, 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 is it because I noticed the scales on Bowser? Up. Okay, I'll, I'll include that then. Oh, okay, now that I'm looking at the background. Okay, someone actually pointed out it. Okay, so it was. Like in the Colosseum, it was a bunch of uh, Kongs. In fact, apparently these people were actually able to spot Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, uh, let me see. So you said you posted it on the Discord? <laughs> Damn you, Kai. Oh. I don't know. It feels like I I, I don't know. I, I I can't really agree too much because, like I said, they really wanted to make these characters expressive, and yeah, that's kind of what it looks like in this one. I don't know. Either that, or maybe maybe the lips. Is it because of the lips? Hmm. I would need to look at some comparison thoughts. The lips and the jaw outline? I, yeah, okay. Okay, I can kind of see what you're going for. I, I don't know, it's because you look at the Seth MacFarlane art style and it's like, they don't, re they don't really have like... It's not too round. It's not like fully round, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong were spotted in the Coliseum right there. So that is actually a really cool detail to see. Apparently, like I thought this was fake for a second because I saw the scales on Bowser and I was like, are those actual? Does he actually have that? And apparently, he does. Yeah, looking at this, looking at this poster. Oh yeah, that's cool. Apparently, Luigi is the one that's the that got kidnapped, <laughs> which is kind of ironic. Mm -hmm. So I can see that they're going for like a change of pace in the story. I I mean, pretty nice. I mean, how like how many times has uh, a game always started with uh, Princess Peach has been captured, this and that, and yeah, just got Luigi. D. I don't end this quote. 
Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's not showing on the capture, but yeah. Also, this is another interesting part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I might have gotten a meme at it. I can see a Goku in the background, but yeah. The fact that with this, they got the... <clears throat> You got the, like the plumbing, and they actually got like one of the game illustrations on their van. Like this is the most we probably have ever seen a Mario and Luigi at being plumbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, uh, like I said earlier, this Miss Pauline spotted in that poster, just in the background. That honestly, the I swear, the this game's going to be we're not this movie is going to be filled with a lot of Easter eggs. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's uh, I, I guess that's it for. Uh, like I think we spent like half an hour just looking at the. Uh, yeah. Also, I, I'm starting to notice the comments underneath the people actually pointing out how apparently. DK design looks a bit like, uh, I guess, like the old video game illustrations, which would make sense. Yeah. Mm hmm. Some people are pointing out the eyes. Mm hmm. All right. Okay, yeah, people are also pointing out how apparently Princess Peach looks rather sinister. Hmm. Okay. And also, someone actually pointed out with the posters, uh, Mario looking more action, Luigi horror, Peach drama, Toad adventure, Donkey Kong comedy, and Bowser sci-fi. It's actually a pretty good way to describe each poster in a genre. Got some people asking why they did just use the character art stuff from the game because they obviously wanted to make them more expressive. Because and also you got like the animation studio like Lumina was it alumni working on this, and I've seen a couple of their past movies. I think they're pretty much known for those uh yellow looking gremlins that make minions. Yes. Like the the bane of every single Facebook meme at this point. But yeah, yeah. It, like I, mean, I'm really glad they didn't go too far from being like uh, minions and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So yeah, probably probably we'll switch to something else shortly. Mm-hmm. Uh, any final thoughts? He's head tracking with this hat. Mm. It's like browsing through the entire discussion people are having under this form. Some people say Peach creeped her out, and she, yeah, it looks sinister. Hmm. Nope. Anyways. When I mean, a movie comes out in April, I'll tell you customers what I think about the movie. Or maybe we'll get like a trailer 3 or something and I'll just do another <laughs> a dissection or whatever. Alright.